Today I fucked up by having a fun sexual encounter. It's not as bad as it could be, but I feel bad nonetheless. Hooked up with someone in my hotel room. It's a midnighter hotel. Didn't get in till later. To the hotel I mean, around 10 pm, but also got into each other from about 1 to 2 am. We were both respectful and kept volumes to talking level, the bed was a bit squeaky in certain directions, we avoided those positions as much as reasonable. So this morning, someone somewhere sneezed, and it sounded like it was in my room. Rest of this morning I am mortified as I hear, crystal clear, neighboring rooms begin to wake up. There was a lot of kids, guys, a lot of kids, maybe even kids. A lot. I guarantee anyone awake heard more than enough. I'm so sorry fellow hotel people. If I had checked in earlier, when families were awake, I surely would have known and been ultra stealth. There was no way for me to know we had paper thin walls. Gah. Too long didn't read, assumed nicer hotel had decent soundproofing, point normally, learned after that hotel did not have decent soundproofing, but did have a lot of children. Edit, I'm not sure when sex became such an aggravating subject to so many here, but to those of you blowing up my inbox and comments with karma whore and behave sex laments, you'll need to chill. People have sex. This means sometimes people will fuck up and it will involve sex. I put no details about the sex on here besides what was necessary for people to understand the story and why I felt guilty this morning. I don't feel the need to defend myself, and others that may mention sex on today I fucked up in the future, any further. Instead, I'd like to draw attention to all the very kind souls that stopped by to encourage me or add to the conversation with witty banter. You people are awesome. You weren't that loud, as soon as I took the glass away from the wall I could hardly hear anything. I don't think that's a fuck up. Sounds like you were way more considerate than a lot of people when staying in hotels. A slash not hesshole. Correct, it was vaginal penetration. A, if the kids weren't in bed at 1 or 2 am. They've probably heard and done worse than what you described. And if they're anything like my kids, they sleep through everything. Literally had lightning strike a tree across the street from us the other night, woke my wife and I like a bomb went off, both kids slept right through it. Are you by chance a triathlete cross trainer who's into anal? I can be whatever you're into for the right prize. Kidding, boys, do not blow up my inbox with your fetishes. Today I fucked up by revealing the gender before a gender reveal party. Today I went to my local bakery slash cafe to get cupcakes with my kids. You can sit inside. We got our food and sat down to eat. In this bakery they decorate most of their products in the open. I noticed they were adding question marks to a big white cake. I asked the bakers if they were decorating a gender reveal cake. They told me that they were. I asked what the gender was. They told me it was a little girl so they put pink frosting on the inside. Was also told that the mother was coming soon to pick up the cake. About 25 minutes later my children and I left the bakery and started walking towards our car when I noticed a very pregnant woman heading towards the bakery. Realizing that the cake was for her, I said oh you are the one having the little girl. Congratulations. She looked surprised but at the moment I didn't think much about it. I got into the car and drove home. We were halfway home before I realized I might have ruined the surprise. Oops. Grimacing face. Colon semicolon 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 I hope she already knew. Too long didn't read. I told a pregnant woman the gender before the gender reveal party. I'm just imagining the woman not knowing that you had seen the cake being put together and being like WTFFFF. Misunderstandings is how you get burnt at the stake just saying. Oops skeptical. Maybe she'll think you're from the future. Lol I hope. Well I know who isn't invited to the next baby reveal party. Hate to be that guy but I doubt she already knew. Gender reveal cakes slash balloon slash etc can be made without the parents knowing the baby's gender prior the reveal. She probably didn't realize the surprise was spoiled until she picked up the cake or sliced it. Chances are she knew. Reveal parties are for friends and families to find out. Had she not known she probably would have strangled you. I disagree. A lot of parents are the ones being surprised as well. A lot of it is seeing their reactions. Today I fucked up by vacuuming a yellow jacket.
Today I fucked update, the foul beast has been laid to rest. At approximately 12 pm, today, my partner woke me up so we could have lunch together before he had to leave for work. We leisurely ate hot dogs and lounged around, enjoying the boat today I fucked up a spring weather. At about 1 pm, he's just walked out the door and I rushed downstairs to where our bedroom and bathroom are to do my bathroom business in privacy. I knew right away that it would be a certain kind of movement, if you know what I mean. So I sit down on the toilet to do the deed and above me I see a huge insect flying slowly toward the lighting fixture we have, which is just naked bulbs. As it lands, I see that it is the largest wasp I have ever seen inside a house. I put my body on pause, shut the bathroom door in an effort to hopefully keep it away from our two elderly cats, and run all the way up two flights of stairs to my mom's bathroom to finish my business, all the while panicking about the wasp because my mom, who lives with us, is deathly allergic to stings. I negotiate with her to leave my cats upstairs while I try to kill this beast and do my research. It's just one wasp, and the Google machine tells me I can just trap it with soda and vegetable oil. Simple. I get the trap concocted, set it in the bathroom with my buddy the wasp, and wait. And wait some more. I got sick of waiting at around 2.30 pm, so I very bravely got the vacuum hose and sucked him right up off the wall. Victory is mine. Until I run the vacuum for another 15 minutes and realize this thing is still alive like being in a tank with god knows what ain't no thing. Over the last two hours, my friends, I have vacuumed the following substances in a desperate attempt to slay the beast. Is laundry additive, baking soda, litter box deodorizer, a shredded Clorox disinfecting wipe, and also a bit of dry cat litter. He will not die. I kind of gave up and I'm watching him in the tank as the vacuum runs, and now he's built himself a tunnel in the nastiness I vacuumed up. When I started typing this story, I thought he had suffocated himself and finally died. But alas, he just started digging further, wiggling his terrifying booty. It's 4.41 pm now. I don't know what it wants, I don't know how to defeat it. Too long didn't read, I vacuumed a wasp in my house over two hours ago and he won't die. I read the title, then read the whole thing thinking it was about a yellow coat. Got to the end and realized I'm an idiot. Had a war with wasps once, like Wizard of Oz witches, and other evil things, they die when coated in soapy water. The soap gets into the cracks in their carapace and the water then drowns them. Dish soap water in a spray bottle, two spray bottles, one per hand, can fight back a whole swarm. I agree to wait until your vacuum resident dies naturally. But next time, soapy water in a spray bottle. Is that insta-kill or is it the wasp will try to seek vengeance with its last dying breath situation? Mainly I'm asking, am I spraying it from afar and running for the hills when it gets hit or go close up with mist mode to up my chances of hitting it? Related wasp story, I was room mom years ago for a classroom of about 28 third graders. One fine spring day as the teacher was reading aloud, with the classroom door open to the fresh air and sunshine, a big fat wasp flew in. He buzzed all around the room, swooping and diving. Kids were screaming and jumping around. We managed to herd the children out the door and then while the teacher grabbed a book, and I rummaged for a fly swatter, one little child calmly re-entered the room. This child lived on a Farm. He crossed over to his desk, picked up his jacket and draped it lightly over the wasp, gathered it up from below, and then took it outside where he released it far from the classroom's teacher and I stood there dumbfounded. Kids were all slapping him on the back and high-fiving. He was quite the hero. This is so badass. I love that kid. Whatever you do, don't vacuum wasp killer spray. It's flammable. Take the container off and drown the little devil in a bucket of water. Oh for sure. Lol I probably should have been a bit more careful with what I did vacuum. Oops. Did you ever get to take that poop? Yes. You're so considerate. 